Hello everyone, welcome to Latin Hermit Crab Educational Center. My name is Jessica and today we're going to talk about naked crabs. Okay, so if we find ourselves in a situation where we have a naked crab, if we come to our tank and we happen to see a crab that is shellless, we want to be able to think quick. So it's always good to be prepared and have these particular items on hand, maybe in a cupboard near your tank just in case you do find yourself in this situation. Okay, so what do we need if we find ourselves in an emergency? What are the items that we're going to need? It's always good to be prepared and have these things nearby. So if you do find yourself with a naked crab, you can just act quickly. So what you're going to need is you're going to look in your tank and you wanna make sure that you can find um, his shell, his original shell that he left. Now, if you cannot find his original shell, let's just say he just came up early from a mold and came up without a shell, you're not going to go digging. I want to make sure that we all know this. We're not going to go digging for any shells. If you don't find it, it's not a big deal. You're just going to look for um, something his size. So you're going to find at least two more extra shells. You want to rinse them out just in case there might be something that's lodged in the shell that is irritating the crab. So you want to be able to find one his size, close to the one that he was in originally, and possibly two more, okay? We're going to rinse these out in primed water. You want to remove anything that might have been lodged inside that was irritating their abdomen. abdomen. So we want to be able to put them inside the biggest mug that you have in your kitchen something pretty wide like this now if you have a big crab and the three shells do not fit inside then you can find a little tupperware container something like this where you can put the shells inside you don't want anything big you want to be able to find something that's just going to be a nice fitted fit for just three shells inside you're going to put your crab right on top of those shells so he doesn't need any room. The whole thing is for him to focus on reshelling again. So you don't want him to wonder, you don't want to add any food into this container. So now you've got your either your mug or your container just big enough for your three shells and your crab. Okay, then you're going to need regular tap water, prime. You're going to put one prime, one drop of prime inside your, your um, tap water, okay? You're going to need a plastic spoon, um, a ladle, something plastic that you're going to be able to scoop up your hermit crab from inside the tank. You're going to need a cloth. You're going to um, um, moisten this. You want to make it damp so that we can keep it dark and keep it moist inside the container or inside the mug okay something that just going to place on top okay you want to make sure that you get some gloves just because um, their abdomen is very um, fragile you want to make sure that we don't put any perfumes or anything any chemicals that we do put our hands on our hands or any lotions and things like that so we want to avoid giving them any infections so you want to put on a pair of gloves okay okay so now you have all your supplies you put a prime drop of inside the water so you're going to only put one tablespoon of primed water at the bottom of the mug okay you don't want to put it inside the shells or anything you just want enough to cover the bottom their abdomen does need to be moist if it does dry up it's not a good thing they will die so we want to make sure that we keep their abdomen moist okay so now you put your prime water inside your mug or in your container and you're going to grab your plastic spoon you're going to find your hermit crab you don't know where he's at you want to look for him he's either going to be somewhere by a pool usually a crab that is in distress that is shellless will hang out either by the pool huddled up in a corner or um, pretty active and um, getting ready to to hide so you want to be able to find them this one is hiding here from me <laughs> but you want to be able to find them okay let's just pretend you found them 
and you're going to take your spoon you're going to hold one side of the spoon you're going to take your other hand you're going to scoop with the other hand with the glove to make sure that you're holding him so that he does not escape he might want to run away so you want to be able to protect him so he doesn't fall so you're gently going to scoop him up with your two hands holding him from the top so just in case he tries to run away and you're going to place him right on top of your mug okay now you're going to take your moist rag and you're going to cover it okay just like this it's going to be moist we want to make sure that it's dark and it's moist in there so that's the reason why we moisten the, the mug then you're going to put the cup inside your um inside your tank okay so i'm going to pretend because i only have one hand i'm going to pretend i'm putting him inside the tank with the mug now you want to make sure that you leave this mug inside the the tank for an hour without disturbing him you're not going to remove the 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 towel to take a peek to see if he reshelled or not this hour is going to give him time just to take a shell and de-stress we don't know what happens if he was disturbed during a molt or if the humidity is too high or too low or if they were fed improperly these things will distress them and cause them to go to go shellless so we want to let them just sit in here and focus on just reshelling okay so now the hour has passed you want to take a look at your cup and see if your crab has reshelled so you want to take your mug out of your tank okay you're gonna take a little peek and see if he's reshelled now if your hermit crab has taken a shell which is fantastic you want to just make sure that he is doing well if you see that he is active and he is okay then you can put him back into your main tank now if you see that your crab has taken a shell and he's feeling a little sluggish um, and not moving around too much i would like to suggest a bigger container you can use a critter keeper a small critter keeper that you can put back into the tank that will fit into your tank something like this um this was a toy but um i made it into an isolation tank just in case i need it god forbid for anything um just make sure that the lid has lots of holes whatever you're using plenty of holes you can do it throughout the the container if you like um but this is plenty so you want to be able to um add a little bit of moistened very moistened moss at the bottom okay and you can put um some energy mix i like to always suggest um energy mix i will have the recipe linked so that you guys can have that this is a great recipe for sluggish crabs or a crab that went naked this just gives them a nice little energy boost there is no such thing as a healing foods or anything like that we just want to give them a little boost so want to put in maybe a flat shell or something a flat dish something that they'll have easy access to you can put in some calcium mix if you like as well we want him to just be um, stress-free you're going to close it and you're going to put it inside your tank for a couple of hours depending on the situation if you find yourself in a situation where he goes shellless again you want to be able to repeat the same process again okay so now let's just say that you your crab did not take a shell okay you looked after an hour and your crab has not taken a shell so now what you want to do is you're going to prep your bigger container or critter keeper or something like this and you're going to do the same thing plenty of moss at the bottom we want to make him comfortable you can put a couple of spoons of primed water at the bottom we don't want a whole lot okay we just want enough to cover the bottom so that if he walks around he can moisten his his abdomen we don't want any more because they will drown okay so just enough and then some moss at the, on the corner with the energy mix 
calcium mix. You can add some food if you want, but the energy mix has protein and everything in it and calcium so that they can eat from that. So now you're just going to leave him there. You're going to keep an eye on him, maybe check on him the next day. You want to minimize any stress um, and just make him comfortable. So now let's talk about what can cause your hermit crab to go um, shellless. So now there are a few reasons why this would happen. Um, one reason being they're being fed um, non-healthy foods, toxic foods. Um, most, I would say 99% of hermit crab foods um, purchased at pet stores are contain lots of toxins and will make your crab do things that um, we want to avoid altogether. It will make them sick, they will go without a shell, they'll lose limbs, um, they will pass away. So we want to avoid commercial foods altogether. Um, I do have a food list and we have Crab Street Journal um, what's for dinner safe food guide list so that you can take a look at and make sure that everything you're giving your hermit crabs is safe. And then um, there are other things as well. So now it has to do a lot with substrate. Um, pet stores give us the very wrong information. Um, they always say um, you can purchase these calcium sands, which is something that we don't recommend at all because um, calcium is not meant for them to molt in. This will make them lose limbs, go shellless, um, and things like that. So we want to avoid that. You want to make sure that you're using the proper substrate. I do have a video as well on what kind of substrate you should use and how to make it. So please check that out. Um, then we have another thing, heat and humidity. Now we have, everyone that has hermit crabs should know that we should have a hydrometer. A hydrometer is a gauge that reads the heat and humidity in our tanks. And this should be placed at the center of the tank, off of the substrate, not too high up. I do have a topper, so um, heat and the humidity does go up. So I have it hanging from this section here. So it's perfect. Um, so the heat and the humidity, if you have too high or too low heat or humidity, it will stress your crab out and they will go shellless. Safe numbers are 75 to 85. Um, hermit crabs typically like um, the low 80s. Um, I have exotics, so I usually in this tank, so they like higher heat, 85, 85. Other things that can cause your crab to go shellless would be um, something that might have been lodged inside their shell. Um, it happens um, not quite often, but they do get things inside their shell. They like some of them like to store food inside there and it, it bothers them. There could be um, an infestation of bugs in your tank and you're not aware of it. Um, but those little things can do that. Um, the stress that a hermit crabs um, endure um, hermit crabs that have been captured from the wild. Unfortunately, it is very inhumane the way that they are treated. Um, a lot of pet stores and pet shops that um, have wild caught crabs in painted shells. They are forced out of their natural shells and into these painted shells that um, very cruelly and packed up in burlap sacks in the thousands and left without food and so these things that they go through before they get to the pet store or get to your home can be quite stressful and will cause them to go through these little things um will force them to go into um stress and go shellless now that's the reason why we like to recommend a ppds um set up when you first bring them home if you are purchasing um, it is a process that we um, suggest just so that the hermit crabs can adjust to their new environment slowly um, at their pace. They don't regulate, their systems do not regulate as fast as we do um, from hot to cold. So if they don't have the proper heat or proper humidity, 
um, a sealed tank, proper food. They don't adjust quickly. If you put them into a full setup with all those things, um, it's a shock on their system. So gradually adding them into a PPDS tank, um, I will share the link to that as well and how to go about it. Um, we'll avoid those situations. So it's, so I will share the link to that. You can also um, take a look at crabstreetjournal.org. We have all the articles there that you might need. You can even visit us on our Facebook groups. I will link that as well. Um, if you haven't already, please share, like, and subscribe my videos. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope this was really helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments.